There are 78.6 million knowledge workers in the U.S. alone. Information overload cost the U.S. economy almost $1 trillion in 2010. Hello, this is Jonathan Spiro, Chief Analyst at Basics. In the United States, over 28 billion hours are lost each year due to information overload. Reading and processing just 100 email messages can occupy over half the day. We asked a variety of people the question, how does information overload impact you? Information overload basically slows me down because I'm interacting with information that's irrelevant out of context. Information overload impacts me by making it absolutely impossible for me to ever get through all the information I get. It's a scourge of modern day society. Sometimes it gets a little frustrating. Information overload is something that you just have to live with. Jonathan Spira's book, Overload, How Too Much Information is Hazardous to Your Organization, tells you where the problem of information overload came from, why it matters, and what you can do to combat it. If you don't think this is a big deal, listen to what industry thought leaders and executives from BMW, Morgan Stanley, NBC, and Siemens have to say about it. It took up a lot of my time. I feel my pulse quickening. I'm so engrossed in trying to deal with the emails that are coming in, the instant messages that are popping up on the screen, the phone calls coming in simultaneously. It's not a good feeling. It's driving me bananas. I realize how distracting all of this is. 66% of knowledge workers feel that they don't have enough time to get everything done. 94% of knowledge workers have felt overwhelmed by information to the point of incapacitation. You know, the reality of today is that uh, it comes at you in such a high volume, you have to learn very quickly how to prioritize that information and filter out what's useful and what's not useful. If I don't check it, I almost feel like something's missing in my life. If I'm sitting with no TV on, no iPhone in my hand, and no computer in front of me, I kind of feel lonely. There's no question that the amount of information I receive makes it harder for me to prioritize. I'm convinced that I never get to look at the right things. If you feel overloaded, you are not alone. Take the first step today and read Overload, 